When people first try my Plant Paradox diet, they always say the same thing. Why can't I eat my favorite food? Some of the most common ones, peanut butter, diet soda, rice and pasta, yogurt, and beans. If you're a fan of any of these, I've got some good news. They're easy to swap out, and I've got some substitutions that are absolutely delicious. First, peanut butter. You may as well call it lectin butter because it's made with one of the worst ingredients for your health. But these days, there are plenty of healthy lectin-free alternatives on grocery store shelves. Things like almond butter, walnut butter, hazelnut butter, tahini, which is basically sesame seed butter, and my favorite, pistachio butter. Just make sure to avoid cashew or sunflower seed butter. They're both pretty common. And if you want almond or walnut butter to taste a little peanuttier, I've got a trick. Whisk in a couple of drops of coconut aminos to boost the savory flavor. Now, let's talk about diet soda. At first, this was a hard one for me. I was a huge Diet Coke addict. Now, I'm not going to tell you how terrible diet soda is for your health. At this point, you better already know. But if you want a refresher, there are a couple of good videos right here on my YouTube channel. Maybe you saw the one where I share my favorite soda hack, my balsamic vinegar soda. Just in case, I put a link to it on the description below. It's a great alternative, but it's not the only one. If you're dying for something fruity, make an infused water or an infused sparkling water if you find yourself craving bubbles. I use lemon and orange slices, and even some fresh berries. And for a really special treat, you can look for sodas that are sweetened only with stevia. Now, they shouldn't be an everyday thing, but if you've got a craving you just can't beat, and you've tried everything else, it might help. Next up, rice and pasta. Good news, carb lovers, there are about a million substitutes for both rice and pasta and some of the swaps are more flavorful than the originals. I love Capello's pasta made from almond flour and tapioca flour. You can find it in the gluten-free frozen food section of Whole Foods and other stores. Now, you already know about one of my other favorites, Miracle Noodles. And good news, they make Miracle Rice, too. And if you're looking for ways to use them, check out the recipes section in the Plant Paradox or the recipe videos here on my YouTube page. Of course, not everyone loves Miracle Noodles as much as I do, but they're not your only option. You can use millet or sorghum in place of rice, or even cauliflower rice, which is hugely popular right now. You can find it fresh or frozen in most major supermarkets, even Costco. And you can also make noodles out of any vegetables by spiralizing them or cutting them in, into thin strips. Maybe you've heard of zucchini noodles, but of course they don't fit in the Plant Paradox plan. Still, the same idea works with beets, carrots, sweet potatoes, even daikon radish. And you can even find some noodled produce at health food stores these days. Here's some beet noodles. These are actually fantastic. Fourth, yogurt. Even Greek yogurt is off the plan. That's because the cow's milk yogurt sold in this country has casein A1, a protein that seriously damages your gut. And for a lot of people, that's a problem because it's their go-to healthy breakfast item. If you're one of those people who needs to have a yogurt for breakfast, what can you do? Go to the regular old yogurt section in your grocery store and look for goat's milk yogurt or sheep's milk yogurt, or if you're in the mood for a vegan option, almond or coconut yogurt. They're pretty widely available, work just like regular yogurt, and are delicious too. Okay, finally, beans. I know we've discussed this one before, but it's worth a reminder, especially for you vegetarians and vegans who are used to getting your protein from beans. Beans are lectin heavy, but it's possible to reduce the lectins by pressure cooking. So if you've got a pressure cooker, put it to use. If not, Look for Eden brand canned beans. They come in non-BPA line cans and they're pressure cooked ahead of time. And if you're looking for a completely non-bean alternative, 
look no further than pine nuts. If you soak them in liquid, like water or even chicken stock, they get a texture similar to beans. In fact, pine nuts cooked into a traditional chili have almost the exact same texture as beans. And there you have it. Five of my favorite plant paradox friendly substitutions. But I want to know what you're struggling with. So do me a favor and leave a comment below and let me know if you're having trouble finding a swap out for your favorite food. It could make it into my next video. I'm Dr. Stephen Gundry and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips. Because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you.